Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another Conspiracy Theory video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Mandela Effect. So, from my last video, I had a competition, and the first person to find a subliminal message in my video got a shout-out. Well, that person was Carlos Padilla. Uh, he doesn't have really anything for me to shout him out on, so as soon as he releases his game, which he is working on, I will leave a link to it in all of my videos, so I will alert you guys when I start doing that. Also, you may have noticed, this is the same hoodie I wore in my last video. Well, that is because I'm going to go ahead and make this the signature conspiracy theory hoodie. Every time you see me wearing this hoodie, you know it's conspiracy time. For one, it's the best hoodie that works with the green screen, and two, um, I like the hoodie, so yeah. The Mandela Effect is one of the most famous conspiracy theories to date. Even though tons of people talk about it, all the time, it still manages to be relevant. Today, I'm going to be walking you through what it is, the origins, and some examples. So, even though a lot of people know what the Mandela Effect is, some don't know the origins. Well, that's where we're going to start. A man by the name of Nelson Mandela was a former South American president, and he died in 1991. Wait, no, he died December 5th, 2013. So many people believe that this man had died in 1991 that when news broke out about him dying, people were very confused. People remember strictly that he had died in prison over 22 years before his actual death date. Ever since this occurrence, a community of people have been looking for false memories like this one, later to be known as the Mandela. The Mandela Effect is when one person, or a lot of people, believe in one thing, but it's actually the opposite. Something totally not like it. So, kind of like what I said earlier with Nelson Mandela, tons of people thought he had died in 1991, but he had actually died in 2013. A little bit later in the video, I will give some more examples. So, the theory is that we are constantly changing or going through different alternate universes, or parallel universes. And every time we pass through one, little things get changed. It is a pretty simple theory, but it is an ongoing one. Tons of people have discussed many different Mandela effects, so I'm not going to spend too much time on the examples or at least the ones that tons of people have talked about. But, of course, we do have to start with the most famous one of all, about the Baron Stein Bears. So, you may have just noticed that I said Baron Stein Bears and not Baron Steen Bears. Well, it's because I was actually saying it correctly. I used to watch the Baron Steen Bears, and I always knew them as the Baron Steen. And I just accidentally said Baron Steen when I was supposed to say Baron Stein. And I'm not the only one who remembers it like this. So many people do. Even in the old and new TV show intro, it literally says Baron Steen. Take a look. We are the Baron Steen Bears! Somewhere deep in bear country lives the Baron Steen Bear family. <laughs> This next one is the one that I love the most, because it's the one I remember the most. And, considering my age, it means it happened pretty recently. This conspiracy theory is about Rich Uncle Pennybags. If you don't know who Rich Uncle Pennybags is, it is the guy on the front of the Monopoly locks. It got us in jail and all that good stuff. I remember playing Monopoly so much in my grandma's house when I was young. It was literally the only game we ever played 
other than go fish. And I always remembered the guy on the front of the box having a mark. But nope, he never did. Look at these side-by-side -side comparisons and tell me that the one without the molecule just looks off. Yeah, the one without the molecule just looks weird, like he shouldn't be there. But he has been the one that has been there through the Monopoly history. A popular person in the Mandela Effect community is Fiona Broom. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. She had a survey about how many people believe Curious George had a tail or not. And the results came back, and most people remember Curious George having a tail, but he never has. Now honestly, to me, I never remember Curious George having a tail, and I used to watch him all the time, so I think this one might be false memory. I don't know. Maybe I have the wrong false memory. Literally, when you search Curious George, the first autofill is tail. Curious George, tail. So that tells you how many people believe that Curious George actually had a tail. Next Mandela effect we're gonna be talking about is the one of Betty White. Well, most people remember Betty White passing years ago, but no, she is alive right now, and as well at the age of 97. Now we are gonna be talking about Muhammad Ali. Ali is considered the greatest boxer of all time. And a lot of people think that he died in 2007. But no, he actually died nine years later in 2016. This next Mandela effect, I'm sure none of you have heard before, because I've never heard of it until I started researching this video. This Mandela effect revolves around 9-11. Now, I plan on doing a whole separate video about 9-11 conspiracy theories, but this one is just so bizarre and kind of believable that I wanted to put it in this video because not only is it a Mandela effect, but I really want to talk about it. So, all of us remember 9-11 happening on 9-11. I mean, the date of the terrorist attack is literally in the name of it. But a lot of people have been coming out recently and said they remember it happening on 9-10. I'm kind of saying that this would be false memory, but I mean, kind of hear me out on this next two parts of this. It could have happened on 9-10, but the government was so focused on trying to get everybody away from the area. They were so focused on making sure no other terrorist attacks were happening and everything like that. So, when they finally recorded what had happened, they accidentally wrote it in as 9-11, not 9-10. And, for the people that looked at the date that day, they remember it as 9-10. Mickey Mouse has been around for a long time. Like, a very long time. Since 1928, to be exact. We always remember Mickey as the mouse with red suspenders and red shorts. Wait. He's never had red suspenders. Everybody seems to remember Mickey Mouse having red suspenders. Even me. Looking at pictures with Mickey Mouse without red suspenders just looks off. I mean, look at some of these costume designs of people trying to be Mickey Mouse. They have red suspenders on. So obviously, a lot of people remember him having red suspenders and red shorts, but it's never been that way. Gene Wilder is the guy famous for playing Willy Wonka in the original movie. He died at the age of 83, August 29th, 2016. But a lot of people remember him dying in 2013. There's even a Facebook page created in 2013 called Rip Gene Wilder. In the description of the page, it said he died late Tuesday, 03-26-13, of natural causes. I don't know, since that Facebook page was created in 2013, and said he died in 2013, 
kind of seems believable that he actually died in 2013, not 2016. But then again, how would that work? If he actually died then and went through a parallel universe, would he just be there? I don't know. It's kind of weird to think of. Now that's about it for the Mandela effects for today. I don't have time to talk about all of them, because there are literally tons of them. Here in a second, I'm going to put up a screenshot that you can pause and read a couple more off of, as well as a link below with tons of examples. And I'm really sorry for this short video. I've been kind of experimenting with different links and different topics and stuff like that. So I want you guys in the comments to tell me, would you rather have one long video a month or a couple several shorter videos a month? With that, I'm going to say goodbye.